Welcome back to another Magic of Vox tutorial. In this one, we're going to create this building you see here using some really useful tools to make the process quick and easy. Starting with a new object, let's go ahead and create the base for our skyscraper. To make the process easier, I'm going to go on mirror mode and turn on X and Y so that whatever modification makes it whatever modifications I make on one side I'll move on the other side and on the back which will save me lots of time I'm going to have it end right there do the same on this side okay um, I'm going to have it indent one more time. Like that. Maybe one more time. Oops. Put that back. Okie dokie, I'm going to go ahead and select a color for my glass and I'm going to paint the insides here. Paint, paint, paint. Let's go ahead and grab this color and we want to give it skyscraper metallic color, maybe something like gray. Take a look at the render. Okay, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and um, constrict it and create a new object, drag it up so the lines match with the top lines for the other part. And let's go ahead and um, give this some form. Okay. One important thing to note is um, while you could, in theory, let's say, make this 250, uh, 40, 40, make the height 256, and you could drag all the way up to the top, you could do something like this, and that way. Um, this basically saves you the time. Let's say, create this, delete it, drag it up. Um, as you can see, this is a very large scale to work with. And while you could do it, um, I would not. I would advise against it because the it becomes a lot more tedious. As you can see, you can't see the top uh, unless you zoom out further, and then. The voxels for erasing or modifying become very small, um, which is not ideal, at least for me. What I like to do is undo, let's go back to what I had before, like this. I like to either create a small portion of it, like what I've done here, and you can drag it up as a plane, and it's dragging everything I want to a specific point. Or I could uh, go over here, have this selected, hit this ref, paste, and drag this, and keep hitting Control V.
and um, let's say I finished the building and I want to add some lights, so to say, um, in these windows here. You could see by clicking the ref, um, any objects duplicated from the reference will be exactly the same on um, so the set objects. This is very useful if you wanted to create some cool designs on your buildings. Let's say I want to create this cool design like that. You can see it's replicated on all the, uh, the objects that I wanted to do, uh, reference it. This again, let's say I Um, what do you do? Let me just make an object real quick. Okay, so let's say I want to do something like that over here. Two different colors you can see. You can see it is a lot more tedious to do. You could, in theory, do it this way if you'd like. But the problem is, it will not be symmetrical, and um, yes, it will not be symmetrical, which is the problem, and it could be a lot more tedious. Whereas if you do it with just one, it'll uh, replicate it on all of the ones you want replicated. Let's delete that. Delete that object. Now this is actually looking pretty good. I don't want to add these lights yet, so I want to actually fill this back. And I just want to give this some more texture. I'm going to um, basically do something over here. Let's go ahead and open this. And um, I'm going to give this some lines going through it. I'll do that. I either turn on X and Y axis mode and see which one works. So that doesn't work, so I'll try Y and you'll see what happens. If you click right here, maybe, hold on. Ah, oh, that's right. I should go into box mode and then try it. There you go. So on the X axis, I'm able to create lines quickly and easily. If I didn't have that selected, you could, in theory, do it this way. But again, even though this is relatively quickly, if you have to do it multiple times, that would take a very long time. For instance, if I wanted to create multiple lines like this, I'm literally just clicking once and it's creating the whole line for me. Now if I look at it, now I can see what my building looks like. Okay, I like that look and I want that to have that kind of shape and I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and end off the skyscraper with the top. I don't want to continue this because it's referencing all of these, and so it's going to, whatever I do here, it's going to make changes to these. So I'm just going to create a new object. Drag it up. Drag it up slightly. Turn off axis mode. Keep X and Y mirror mode on, and drag one of the corners and out like that. This will create like a rooftop type thing. Where we can add like vents or um, AC ducts or something like that. And to end it off, we're just going to add some, um, I'm not sure exactly what those are, but there's like the little antennas that stick up to let um, planes know that the build, this building is really tall. Strict the object. Zoom out a bit. You can see we have a very cool building already. Uh, bottom doesn't look that realistic, so I'm actually going to go here. And maybe close it off or maybe give it a four 
I'll just give it a floor. I can turn on uh, X and Y axis mode, and that you can see creates the whole floor in one go. Zoom out a bit and take a look at the building. That looks pretty good. Maybe I can give it some cool signage up here or something. Right now it's looking kind of bland, so I can go to the top of the roof. Do something like that, and then turn off X and Y. Maybe drag up like this. And just drag these two like that. Maybe I can give it a light with a nice, maybe a nice blue. Not a blue like that. The paint. Oops. Yes. Zoom out a bit. Mission. Ah, uh, yes, that looks cool. Okay. Let's say you want to add lights. Um, unfortunately. If you wanted to, um, you could do lights this way, where everything is all referencing the other. So if I add lights like this, um, it's going to reference this all, all across the, um, the building. The problem with this is that if I turn on the emission shader, you can see it looks very repetitive. So let's say you don't want to, you don't want the lights to keep being replicated on all these right here. You could undo all that, select the object, hit uh, ref D. Now, if I edit lights or add lights here, it is not um, duplicating it on all these objects, which is very useful. So I'm just going to add lights on all sides of the building. And I will get back to you guys when that's done. Okay, you have this really nice looking building that is basically 90% complete. One last thing to do that uh, I have already set here but you might not have is to turn on these. This just makes it look a little bit cleaner and nicer and then maybe go into the camera settings and turn on blue so you can get that pop effect with the lights and change these settings if you like. The exposure or vignette settings and obviously the lighting you can change it to whatever you like. Um, one last thing is down here, because this is the lobby on the first floor, this usually has a lot of lights going on, so we want to uh, edit that. So we go here, we're going to scroll down like that, select a uh, light, and maybe drag it along the edges here. some of that. Okay, something like that maybe. Um, and then give it an emission shader. Looks like I already have. And then you change the material of this to a metal. Maybe make it rough. Um, maybe make that a little bit lighter. And oh, one last thing. We want to maybe change this dark tint color to something like this to get that interior lighting look. Yeah. 
Okay, and there you go. You have a building that didn't relatively take that long. Um, maybe about 10 minutes of my talking. But um, once you build one or two and use the uh, tips that were taught in this tutorial, you probably get building like this done in about five minutes or so. Um, and that's it for this video. Um, the vi more videos will be coming. I've been pretty busy recently, but I will try my best to upload videos on a weekly basis. And I will see you guys in the next one.